A math class consists of 20 female students and 16 male students. Two students are selected one at a time at random to participate in a probability experiment. Compute the following probabilities. Before we begin, notice there are a total of 20 plus 16 or 36 total students. And the two events of selecting two students one at a time are dependent events, not independent events. Dependent events are events where an outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of the other. In this case, the outcome of the second selection is affected by the outcome of the first selection because after the first selection, there is one less student to select from. And because we have dependent events, we use this formula here to find the probability of the two events occurring. Where if events A and B are dependent, the probability of both A and B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A has occurred, which we indicate using this notation here. So the probability of a male being selected and then a female is equal to the probability of a male times the probability of a female given a male has been selected. So let's first find the probability of a male because there are 16 male students out of a total of 36 students. The probability of selecting a male is 16 36, there's 16 divided by 36. And then times, we have the probability of selecting a female given a male has been selected. So because a male has already been selected, now there's only 35 students to select from. Of those 35 students, 20 are female. The probability of selecting a female given a male has been selected is 20 35ths or 20 divided by 35. If we're doing this by hand, we can simplify before multiplying, but we're gonna go ahead and find the simplified product on the TI-84 graphing calculator. So we have in parentheses 16 divided by 36 times in parentheses 20 divided by 35. Enter. This will give us a decimal approximation, which we'll come back to. To convert to a simplified fraction, we press math, enter, enter which is 16 63rds, which as a decimal, rounded to four decimal places, would be approximately 0 0.2540. Notice how because of the six we round up, and because we have a nine here, the 39 changes to a 40. So the exact probability is 16 divided by 63, which as a decimal is approximately 0 0.2540, which as a percentage is 25.40%. Next, we want to find the probability of selecting a female and then a male. So the question is, would this be different from selecting a male and then a female? Well, let's find out. The probability of selecting a female and then a male, because we have dependent events, is equal to the probability of a female times the probability of a male given a female has been selected. The probability of a female is equal to 2036 because there are 20 female students out of a total of 36 students. So we have 20 divided by 36 or 2036 times the probability of a male given a female has been selected. Because a female has been selected, there's now 35 students, 16 of which are males. The probability of selecting a male given a female has been selected is 16 divided by 35 or 16 35ths. So notice how the probabilities of each event look different. Let's see if the product is different. In parentheses, we have 20 divided by 36. And then times, in parentheses, 16 divided by 35. Enter. And notice how we do get the same decimal approximation, which means in fraction form, the value is also going to be 16 63rds. So the probability is the same as number one. Let's take a look at two more examples. Number three is the probability two females are selected, which is the probability of a female and then another female, which because we have dependent events is equal to the probability of a female times the probability of a female given a female has been selected. Because we have 20 females out of a total of 36 students, the probability of selecting a female is 20 36 or 20 divided by 36. And now we need to find the probability of a female given a female has been selected 
because the female has already been selected, there's one less student, so there's 35 total students. There's also one less female, because the first student selected was a female, and therefore there are 19 females out of a total of 35 students, so we have times 19 35ths, or 19 divided by 35. And now let's go ahead and find the product on the calculator. We have 20 divided by 36 times 19 divided by 35. We'll come back to the decimal to get the fraction. We press math, enter, enter, which gives us 19 sixty thirds. So the exact probability is 19 sixty thirds to four decimal places. We have approximately 0 0.3016. Which is the percentage is 30.16 percent. For number four, we want the probability that two males are selected, or the probability of selecting a male and then another male, which is equal to the probability of a male times the probability of a male given a male has already been selected. So the probability of male is equal to 1636 or 16 divided by 36. And then we have times. The probability of a male given a male has been selected. After the male has been selected, there's one less male and then one less student, and therefore there's 15 males out of a total of 35 students. The probability of selecting a male given a male has been selected is 15 35ths, or 15 divided by 35. Going back to the calculator, 16 divided by 36 times 15 divided by 35. There's our decimal approximation. Let's get the exact value as a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, which is 421st, or as a decimal to four decimal places, approximately 0.1905, which is the percentage is 19.05%. I hope you found this helpful.